broad understanding of the concepts and issues involved. Many of you are very eager to asking detailed questions, you know, about uh, urban uh, slum clearance, water supply. We'll go into this in detail further down in, the, in January and February and early March. But in, in December, what you need to have is a, you think you know, but what you know might not be the accurate and latest accurate or probably even correct understanding of what you need to know. So December is a month we are spending for you to get this. So we, we spoke about cities, we spoke about uh, finances of cities, uh, uh, but no better person to talk about this particular subject than Mr. Jairaj, which is about BBMP. The BBMP ecosystem, how does it work, what are the issues involved? We'll, we are hoping Mr. Jairaj will spend as much time, uh, much more time than a uh, few lectures with us on this. But today is the first step and he uh, will introduce you to some ideas. Uh, we have only one hour with uh, him, so again I request uh, last question. If you have questions which can be postponed or supplement rounds, please keep it for next round. Let us spend one intense hour with Jairaj and get as much of the gap as you can. Thank you. I was commissioner of BBMP on two separate occasions. So whenever I used to go to a council meeting and I sat, council not in I sat at the podium with the mayor and the deputy mayor. I used to look at the corporators and say, my God, you will get a nano, Kelsa Marbeka Anta. Iga, when I see you, I have the same reaction. <laughs> My God! <laughs> you are a corporator. Nijwaglo Aktara. So, would you like to settle down, please, if you don't mind? Okay. So I am very, uh, very happy to be here because, you know, I have a, a great share to do with BPAC. I am a trustee of BPAC, secretary, can also call myself as one of the founders. Except the difference is that if you are a founder of a IT company, you get a lot of equity. <laughs> but here, there is, there, uh, you are our equity. <laughs> Social equity. So I really uh, hope that you will make the best out of it and you will derive maximum learning from this program that, you know, Revti has structured and that uh, Nitin and Takshashila are implementing. So are you all comfortable with English? I'll mix it between English and Kannada. So what I want to say today is to give you a flavor of what BMP is. And I am speaking to you from the standpoint of an administrator. I have more than 30 years experience in the government as a member of the Indian Administrative Service, IAS. You heard of the IAS, right? And I went into the BMP the first time when a new government took office in 1999 when S.M. Krishna was Chief Minister. So S.M. Krishna was really imbibed with the mission and objective of converting the city of Bangalore into a premier city. And in fact, in early discussions with him, we said we must benchmark Bangalore with a city of international standards, an Asian city, a city that works, which is efficient. So we chose Singapore. And we said, if Singapore can do it, why can't Bangalore? So as part of that, what the Chief Minister did was to put an entirely new team in all the utilities. 
and I was one of them and I went into the BMP. It was then called BMP. I'll talk to you about the difference between BMP and BBMP a little later. And so all of us went with great hope and expectation. We knew that if we wanted to, if we had the will, we can change the city. And in a way we did, in a way we didn't. But what I want to convey to you today is what you can expect and to go back to BMP. So I went for a second time after some years to BBMP, created the BBMP. And so utilizing these two points, I want to abstract from my experience and put before you what the content and context of BBMP is today. Obviously, I can't do it in one hour, nor do I want to. So there are three parts of what I want to tell you. The first part is an understanding of the context. And I want you to pay close attention to it because it's very important for your uh, future career. The second part are the challenges. And, these, and therefore, the state government, central government must give us money in order to manage the requirements of Bangalore. And this uh, is something that you can digest after the masterly kind of survey of BBMP finances which Professor Asher has done and which I'm sure all of you have digested, which gives you a big overall view of where the city gets its money from, how it spends and so on. So this is one. And you know, people who read it will only, uh, you know, kind of relate it to the fact that BBMP has no money. That whatever money it get, it kind of squanders. And thirdly, there's too much of leakage in that system. Very few people have a positive image of BBMP. In fact, anybody here has a positive image of BBMP, please raise your hands. That's why you're sitting at the back. Okay. All right. So very few people really have a positive image and that's because they have been fed so much of negative press reports about all the things that are happening in the BBMP. Can we have the next one? So here are some other kinds of flavors that we receive. It says, real problem is corruption, misuse of funds and vested interests. This is a statement made by my friend Rajiv's intended, which is parking. So then any intelligent person asks a question, as I'm sure all of you will, why can't there be enforcement? What is lacking? I mean, if you have rules and regulations, why can't you implement them like in Singapore, where they are maintained, where they are followed? What's the answer to that question? Corruption on whose part? Who, who are the both? Public and? Any other reason? Huh? Political interference. By whom? Which you are going to become. They want to pay and get it done. Mafia. Well, all these are excellent reasons you pick up in the newspapers and TV discussions. But underlying all this is the fact. Yes, sir? They, the person don't want to follow the rules. They yeah. want to bypass. They want to bypass. And there is, a, there is no proper due diligence in the you know, uh, visits of the particular structure, what they are, the time of construction or anything. The proper due diligence is not being done. Proper due diligence is not done. And everybody feels without being bribed. Everybody feels that without paying bribe, nothing can be done. Yeah. Legal issues. You know, like. Just for an example, there's one layout that is at Hirinagar, which has come up completely illegal layout. So nobody has maintained. First of all, layout is illegal. Okay, okay. So, so I have a very limited time today, so I really can't engage you in a long discussion. But I, the general flavor is that there is corruption. 
people violate the laws with impunity there is no enforcement there is collusion between the people between the local administration the bureaucracy the politicians everybody is responsible except us alwa <laughs> that's how it is but in a way it's true it's true all of this is true plus the fact that basically there is no strength in compliance what professor asher said voluntary compliance in tax is equally replicable for a city today in a way and unfortunately for various reasons that we will go into the kind of compliance with the laws is not something that comes from within and certainly something that cannot be enforced by the municipal machinery so in the wake of this next please so here's what i want to place before you today i want you to please read this it says how does the bbmp function who exercises power and authority here why is the situation what it is what is to be done and some case studies so today i think considering we have about a half an hour or little more we will look into these two aspects or three aspects and then the remaining stuff we will make it more interactive and have it on some other session so how does the bbmp function any 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 uh, thinking on that can you briefly tell me how the bbmp functions next okay so when you look at the functioning of an organization whether it is in the public space or private space there are a number of issues you have to sort okay one is purpose and objectives because an organization is created in order to fulfill certain objectives right you can call it mission you can call it uh, objectives or whatever so there are certain objectives and the bbmp's objectives today is to provide civic services to the public what what do we mean by civic services we mean the following roads solid waste management garbage removal that is okay now these are and then storm water drains so that water can you know any rain water can be taken out okay schools lights 120 schools primary and middle schools for about roughly 15000 students but a major part of the schooling public schooling comes through the department of public education what is called the commissioner's office so there is a kind of parallel delivery of the schooling system bbmp also runs uh, health services but these are basically maternal health the actual health in the city especially in the public side is provided by the government through bowring hospital victoria hospital vani vilas and so on and so forth so you have a division of responsibilities even in civic functions but the core civic functions roads drains okay garbage removal uh, garbage removal solid waste management parks lakes management and so on to a large extent are provided by bbmp now that is the mandate of bbmp and one of the challenges is that by itself it cannot provide all the civic services required by the people there is a multiplicity of agencies and very often it is the lack of coordination between these multiple agencies that leads to problem i'll give you an example i'm sure all of you have encountered it road cutting nee nodidira prashne nu keltira yenado olle raste hakirtare ade raste anna 6 tingalalli tirga cut martare ಆರು ತಿಂಗಳು ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ವಾಪಸ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಆ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿನೂ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರಿಂದ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಬಹಳ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಈ ಥರ ಒಂದು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರಲ್ವಾ 
So, question, why can't the BBMP look after the roads to see that this kind of road cutting is prevented? Answer, yes, it was tried out because you see road cutting is resorted to by other agencies apart from the BBMP for meeting some purposes. For instance, a defective water line has to be repaired or the Bangalore telephones may want to uh, lay new lines or now 